Lakes can be seriously impressive things. From the beautiful Lake District of England to the Great Lakes of North America, these lakes can have suitably awesome names, from the Grand Lake Superior to the pastoral paradise of Lake Windermere. However, the five lakes I'll be covering here aren't as lucky. While they might be awesome to see, their names definitely aren't as awesome. So today, let's not only gawk at the names of these five oddly named lakes, but look into how these names actually came to be. To start with, we have Pretty Boy Reservoir, and yes, a reservoir is technically clear lake in the state of Maryland, United States. This name is thought to not come from the amount of handsome men in the area, but rather just one pretty boy, a beautiful white colt called Pretty Boy, who was beloved by the neighborhood around the lake. Unfortunately, however, Pretty Boy met his end too soon when in a thunderstorm, the horse fell into the lake and died. In memorial to the death of this beloved horse, the lake became known as Pretty Boy Reservoir. Another animal theme the lake is of course Elephant Butt Reservoir. Well, it's actually pronounced Elephant Butte Reservoir, but come on. Butts are funny. Elephant Butte Reservoir is too in the USA, but New Mexico this time, not Maryland. So why does it sound like the reservoir is named after the rear end of the heaviest land mammal? Well, a butte is actually a hill slash mountain that's isolated from other mountains, often with vertical sides and a flat top. The Butte of Elephant Butte is a former volcano, but is now an island in the reservoir that is supposedly in the shape of an elephant. Though I don't believe there are any actual wild elephants in the area, fossils of Stegomastodon, an ancient ancestor of the elephant, have been found there. While most of the names in this video only sound weird in the English speaking world, this one might sound somewhat alien to English speakers. I'm referring to the Finnish lake of Kivs Javi. Now while to non-Finnish speakers this might sound innocent enough, this lake's name actually translates to Testicle Lake. Yup, Testicle Lake. Part of me is worried that this video is now demonetized because I mentioned testicles, a perfectly normal part of the body half the world has. So if this video has been demonetized, please consider donating on Patreon or buying a tea, or hey, at least subscribe if you aren't already. Anyway, there doesn't seem to be too much info as to how this name came to be. One legend goes that the lake was named after a giant who formed the lake, which somehow relates to testicles, while another idea is that the name is from an old word for a type of fishing done in that area, which meant something else before the word testicle got its current meaning. Meanwhile, over in Australia, we have Lake Disappointment. So does Lake Disappointment live up to its name? Well, to the man who named it, Frank Han, it most certainly did. While exploring the Pilbara region in Northwest Australia, he spotted creeks flowing inland. Frank hoped that these creeks would lead to a huge freshwater lake, yet when he finally saw the lake all these creeks were leading to, it was just a barren, highly salty lake. It's safe to say that Frank Han saw this salt lake as a bit of a disappointment, so much so that he left it with the name Lake Disappointment. Finally, we have Lake Titicaca on the border of Bolivia and Peru. It is often considered the highest navigatable lake in the world and one of the largest bodies of water in South America. Despite how impressive the lake is, its name is sounding like a combination of a term for the chest and a Spanish word for human waste will make most people smirk. However, in local languages, the name sounds much more ferocious, with the titi part meaning puma and the caca part meaning grey, meaning the lake's name means the grey puma, and is also thought to mean the rock of the puma too, as locals believe that the lake as a whole is shaped like a puma. And in case you were feeling mature enough to not crack a smile at the name of Lake Titicaca, then remember that the lake drains into another lake by the name of Lake Poopoo. <laughs> poo poo. Okay, I'll try and be a bit more mature in the next video. Lake Titicaca was suggested by Denny Zavada, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as the name explains patron saint of Lake Titicaca. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a name explained video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just $1 a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a name explained Patreon saint. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Name Explain depends on small monthly donations from fans like you to help keep the channel running. Just the small amount of $2 a month helps out in a huge way, grants you patron exclusive Name Explain extras, and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you.